What's up guys, we are back with another Iron Man video today. Now in this video, I'm gonna start it off with killing some blue dragons. As you can tell by my gear and where I'm standing, you can probably tell that I was gonna range blue dragons. Um, it's honestly just super chill. I have the rune crossbow, I have the broad bolts. It's gonna be super easy to kind of AFK I can do other things. I can say spot the blue dragons and you still get some decent range XP and some decent hides and bones to help progress the account. Now we want that 70 prayer. Because at 70 prayer, we unlock Pity. Now we did the quest already to use it. We can already use chivalry, which is of course awesome, but Pity is just a nice step above that. But to get 70 prayer, we actually need about 2k bones. But with the Wilderness Altar, we will save 50%. So effectively, we need half that. I'll need about 1,000 bones. I don't know exactly how much I'm going to need. But I'm going to get around 1,000 killing some blues. I might do some greens here and there just because I know it's a lot quicker. But it's a lot less chill. I might die in the wilderness and all that stuff. Um, but right now, I'm going to kill some blues. And we're going to get 1,000 bones for 70 prayer. And then we're going to go use them at the altar. So let's go do it and get that level, guys. So this is the safe spot that I've been using to kill blue dragons. I'll show you guys on the map real quick. It's like this new area they added. I'm not sure how long it's been here. I just haven't killed blue dragons in ages. So it could have been here for a while and I just didn't know. Uh, but this is a cool safe spot right here behind this column. And uh, you can kill this dragon, this dragon, and also this dragon. You can kind of lure him up here and you can safe spot him right in this exact spot, a little north of the skulls. And using this with 76 range, it's about... 50 kills an hour, which honestly is a lot better than I expected. Keep in mind, this is with 70 agility, so I can use the agility shortcut right over here. So you got to make sure if you have that if you want to do this method. It's the only way to do it to really ensure you're going to get a decent amount of kills per hour. Uh, the In terms of crowds, it's not too crowded. You can kind of hop every now and then an easy fun of worlds where at least two of the three dragons are free. Um, it's a lot of bots and noobs that just use really low hitting weapons like a door wrench and crossbow and it takes them like a minute to kill the dragon anyway um so i'm pretty much fine here it's that's not a big problem so so far wow rude so actually i've done a decent amount of kills before i actually recorded that intro because i wasn't sure how i wanted to map this out but uh we started with 75 range we have 76 we're actually pretty close to 77 so that is pretty cool and if we take a look at the bank we have 363 bones and 386 blue dragon hide i had about 20 or so before i started with the blue dragon hide so we have about 363 kills so if you guys are curious it's about like 20 to 23k an hour roughly now i'm kind of afking so it's not the best XP in the world, but like I said, it's pretty chill. And we're probably going to kill maybe about 400 or so. And then we're going to go and head over to Green Dragons because it's getting pretty tiresome. And uh, I just want to smash out these bones as quick as possible. And that is 77 range. So that's two range levels that we gained from ranging Blue Dragons. I believe we're at like 480 or whatever, but this is going to be the last trip that I do. We're going to see how many bones and hides I have. That wasn't even my drop. Ah, sucks being an Iron Man. The next steps that I'm going to take is actually I need to make burning amulets both when I want to kill green dragons and train my prayer. So uh, the break that I'm going to take between blue and green dragons is I'm going to make a ton of burning amulets. So that's the new game plan. So when we take a look at the bank, we have 474 bones, 497 blue dragon hide, and also we have 27k that our ring of wealth has picked up in the process. So I need the burning amulets, and I'm going to have to mine some gems. So I'm going to use my glories. i got to charge them, because a charged glory, if you guys didn't know, it helps you get gems a lot faster than normal, and it especially works when you're gem mining. So I'm going to head over to Shiloh, mine some gems, in the hopes to get a lot, a lot of red topazes, so we can ultimately make a ton of burning amulets. So we managed to get 22 red topazes, and I cut them. Now, they're actually a bitch to get. They're not the most common gem by any means, and I probably failed about half of them when I cut them and crushed the gem. I had these in the bank, so thankfully for that. Um, I believe I have all the materials even to cast the spell. The only thing that I am missing is the balls of wool, which, of course, isn't going to be too hard to get. So I'm going to make them up, and we're going to start killing some green dragons, and hopefully this should be enough. If it's not, I'm pretty close, and I don't, wouldn't mind coming back just to make a couple more, but let's go send it. So we just got done crafting some burning amulets and some ring of duelings. We create a nice simple tab for myself at the end over here. We even have the broad bolts because I'm only going to bring like 50 at a time or whatever. So I'm not risking too much. As you could see, I have really, really low 
or really welfare gear, I should say. It's super, super low. Um, that's exactly what I'm going for. Let's take this one instead. And uh, so honestly, if I die, the only thing that I'm really going to be bummed about losing is the hides and bones themselves. Now, the only thing that I need to get before I get Kraken is the looting bag. So what I'm going to do is actually go kill some thugs real quick and go get it. So it's been like seven, eight kills around there, and we got our looting bag super quick. So let's get out of here and let's start killing some green dragons. So the main reason that I wanted to get the burning amulets, of course, other than using the bones at the end, is so I could use the bandit camp teleport and teleport myself right here. So if I run directly east, there will be the revenant cave entrance. So upon entry and you run east, you will find green dragons right along here, right, right in this little crevice right over here. And even here, there's just, well, there's someone here in this world, but there's a nice safe spot that if you stand right over here, you can kill two dragons, the bone that spawns about right there, and one right here. And honestly, it's going to be pretty chill. And I used to kill him here on my main, and honestly, I didn't find one PK to try and kill me. Look at this, guys. Easy peasy. Dragon cannot get me. This dragon cannot get me either, so I'll just demonstrate really quickly. Get attack it over here, and it's awesome. So another thing that I'm also excited, I'm glad I just got a nature rune drop, but green dragons drop a lot of nature runes, so hopefully we do get a decent amount on the grind with green dragons. Now also, the green dragons in this cave are stronger than normal, but I definitely feel like they are worth killing because again, hopefully a little less PKers than normal. And honestly, the only major setback with killing the green dragons is dying. So fingers crossed. So that is an inventory complete. Now, this is much better than blues, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know. Uh, blues were around 50 kills an hour, like I said before, but greens doing this method I'm doing right now is around 70. So it's definitely much, much faster. And a lot has to do with the looting bag right here. Uh, so let's just chuck all this in, all the coins in. I'm getting a lot of laws too, which is awesome. Um, but if we look at our tab, we have 718 dragon bones, 245 green dragon hide, and... 497 blue dragon hide so we have a ton of bones right now the grind is forever it's taking forever i'm probably gonna do the rest of the kills at greens uh just because it's so much quicker and honestly it's better xp i'm getting like 8k more range xp an hour pretty close to 78 so i'm pretty sure we're just gonna stick with greens because i actually haven't died yet and it just seems to be doing a lot better for me so i wanted to get 1k bone for this episode but i didn't realize how long it would actually take so I'm going to end it right here, and for next episode, I'll definitely get that 1k and start training that prayer so we can get that 70, because as we know, Pity just destroys everything, and I'll be able to do so many more high-level stuff with it. I cannot wait. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Peace.